Hello, I am Nico Bree, also known as Sphere Lancer, and I'm attempting to start making videos again after my computer decided not to like it when I render videos uh, on Vegas. And I'm gonna make my comeback by starting a tutorial series for one of my models. I've probably created a good four to five other models since the last time I uploaded. So I'll be doing showcase of those other models that I have in store for you um, as well. So you can get inspiration for those. In this particular model, I wanted something to be in between a heavy frigate, uh, heavy frigate class and a destroyer. And after I get deeper into the tutorial, I ended up dubbing it a destroyer. When I usually model my ships, I usually have a lot of inspirational videos or images on my other screen or window down so I can use them for detail inspiration and just for general shaping ideas. So for those who are just trying to get into 3D uh, modeling through SketchUp, I definitely suggest doing that because that always helps me. In this particular portion of the tutorial, I'm creating the engine section and uh, other, um, the other figures that I have on the right there are previous attempts at trying to get that general shaping idea right. And I usually start with the back of the ship because I think it's the more pleasing area where the engines are and all that. I just love that particular part of the ship before I work on anything else. <clears throat> so you always see me if I ever do tutorials starting off with that particular area unless for some strange reason I decide to go with the either the body or the front of the ship. One thing that you'll notice is that I like to use the push and pull feature as well as the built-in corner feature and offset features when I'm doing my models and that helps with a lot of general detailing and uh, 3D forming as well. <clears throat> and one feature that I also just recently, well actually not recently, more in the past that I found, at the time it was recent, excuse me, I found was the alt pull feature which is when you like offset a, a circle like I do in this portion and I pulled it out that feature has come in handy when uh, when trying to make engine cones and other really cool and in-depth details because you don't have to go in and click and drag lines to create the faces and the surfaces like around a circle and then soften the features afterwards it already does it for you and I'm sure there's other ideas and there's other uh, plugins and stuff of that nature and shortcuts that I could use to make things go a lot smoother but since I've been so fashioned with doing it the hard way in terms of experienced modelers <clears throat> you're gonna see me doing it that way Another way that I uh, got the idea for the engine form for this model was I wanted to I wanted it to be almost like a baby cruiser. Or so uh, another a reference that I used was the Trinity Cruiser model that I made a while back, one of the first uh, modeling videos that I made, and I, I used that engine type a lot for my heavier ships. And very rarely do I try and use a different uh, a different style. And the reason behind that is because I'm very, very inspired by uh, video games like Halo. And the engine style that the Pillar of Autumn, the, the Paris class frigates, the Charons, and the Marathons, I just love that engine type and it, it really appeals to me. And one thing that I kind of implement into my models is a little bit of realism, <clears throat> or at least what I think the future of space travel would be and I think in terms of engine types I think that would be one of the ones that we probably use in the future for large ships or medium sized ships like frigates. <clears throat> one thing that I've finally grasped was the idea of grouping and making components for your models because 
I've found in a lot of my models that, that get kind of complex, especially with angles and the shapes that require a lot of geometry, is that if you have them grouped, it's better to, <laughs> to edit them if they end up being screwed up. So I do this uh, specifically for my engine. And I also did it for the prototype I have on the right there, which I locked because I didn't want to delete that entirely just in case this engine actually turned out to be something I didn't like and I just deleted that so I'd go back to that old one. But um, yeah, that's something that I encourage people who are new to definitely do, especially when they're starting to get into the much larger and more complex and detailed models such as the ones that I've done. Um, Definitely, definitely, definitely group and uh, make components for specific details, especially like turrets, engines, even for some of the basic body parts or, and body details, such as just like windows or um, uh, small features like gas cans, canisters, stuff of that, uh, stuff, stuff of that nature that really make uh, a ship look nice and cool and very futuristic-like. And I say this though, a lot of my videos I don't do that, and that's mainly because I forget, and mainly because I'm so in depth with my model that I'm, I totally am oblivious to the fact that I just made a, a really important feature that hey, I may need to copy or modify at one point if you know I don't feel that it's working well. So I definitely want to spread that lesson before it gets too late and you end up like me where you get so in depth with your models you forget.